Hello everybody, welcome to your Sugar Facts on La Brain TV Network. I am your presenter, Little B. Queer, and today we have one of um, Liberia's emerging orator, in person of um, Amochintesh Nipli, who is recognized as one of the outstanding young persons in Liberia. Uh, he's going to be speaking to us today about some historical facts about the electoral positions and records of the True Wing Party, which is um, squarely recognized as the Liberian Wing Party. So keep following us as Mr. Nipley takes us through the history and facts of things that we might not be aware of. Keep following. The Liberian Whig Party held political dominance from 1878 up to 1980. And at a time, the nation was virtually governed as a one-party state under the TWP, even though other opposition political parties were never outlawed. The True Wing Party had the colors green and yellow as its political colors. And initially, its ideology was strongly influenced by that of the United States Wing Party. And it took the name True Wing Party from that political party in the United States of America. Much of the True Wing Party support came from the American Liberian community who held an influential position over the Liberian politics and society. The True Wing Party long-term leader and president, William Vakanara Shadrach Tutman, was widely regarded as the father of modern Liberia. Ladies and gentlemen, let us go to three amazing deep facts about the True Wing Party. First of all, I'd like to share with you that the True Wing Party has held political dominance for a very long time. Unfortunately, for the very first time in the history of the True Wing Party, in 2017, the True Wing Party could not produce a single representative in the general and representative elections of 2017 held in Liberia. Before that time, in 1955, 29 seats were up for grabs and those 29 seats for representatives were occupied by representatives aspiring and candidates representing the True Wing Party. Not only that, in 1971, 52 seats were occupied out of 52 seats available by the True Wing Party candidates. In 1975, the story did not change. 71 seats were available and 71 candidates from the True Wing Party occupied. And gradually, the True Wing Party dominance started to slow down. That's so sad about what happened. But that's the reality. 64 seats were out for grab and 8 seats were occupied by True Wing Party candidates. Sadly, in 2017, 73 seats were available and the True Wing Party occupies nothing. The next fact, in 1975, the True Wing Party had a candidate, William Richard Torbert. And William Richard Torbert won with 750,000 votes. And he got 100% of the total votes in the ballot. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That William Ira Torbert in 1975 won with 100% vote. The True Wing Party is the only political party that has produced a candidate with 100% of the votes in the ballot. Unfortunately, in 2005, the True Wing Party supported Councillor Vanny Sherman. And this time around, they lost, oh my God, 7.8% of the total votes in the ballot. 2011, they supported former president madam ellen johnson's leave and this time around 
Ellen Johnson's leave with the support of the drawing party got 90.7% of the vote. And one ex-soccer player who is now president of the Republic of Liberia, His Excellency, Dr. George Manu Weir. And one more fact about the True Wing Party. The True Wing Party is the political party in the political landscape of Liberia that has supported the highest number of candidates in a presidential election. In 1869, Edward James Raw was supported by the True Wing Party and he won the election. In 1877, 1879, and 1881, the party supported Anthony W. Gartner, and he was also elected in three out of three elections he contested. In 1883, the True Wing Party supported Hillary Richard Wright Johnson, and he won. Now in 1885, 87, 89, they also supported Hillary Richard Wright Johnson, and this time again, he won three out of three elections. The True Wing Party did not stop maintaining political dominance, supported Joseph James Chisman in 1891, 1893, and 1895 presidential elections, and Chisman was the man of the day. In 1897 and 1899, the party supported William David Coleman and David Coleman was the president elected in those two elections. In 1901, the party maintained dominance, supported Garrison Women Gibson, and he was elected president. 1903, 1905, and 1907, that was the time in the movement for Arthur Barclay after he received support from the True Wing Party. In 1911, 1915, and 1919, Daniel Edward Howard was elected president on the ticket of the True Wing Party. In 1923 and 1927, oh, this guy, Charles Dumba Borges King, was elected president on the ticket of the True Wing Party. Edwin Barclay then followed in 1931 in 1939 elections, and Edwin Barclay won both of the two elections he contested. Willem Vakanarad Shedrak Tutman, 1943, 1951, 1955, 1959, 1963, 1967, 1971. Willem V. Tutman, the longest serving president in the history of the Republic of Liberia, who served from 1944 up to 1971, 27 unbroken years, was elected on the ticket of the True Wing Party. In 1975, it was Todd Burt who was elected. And unfortunately, in 2005, they lost after they supported Varney Sherman. And again, this time around 2011, Pledged support to Ellen Johnson's leaf, who won with 90.7% of the vote in the ballot. Thank you for listening. Thank you for following deep facts about the True Wing Party. This is extremely important for the history of our country.